In this video, I want to show you how to use the new page navigator feature that came out as part of the Power BI's November 2021 feature update. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set it up and customize it, but also what type of problems it solves to begin with. All of that and more, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So before we start the demo we should probably look at what the page navigator is. So here's the section of the page navigator from the November 2021 feature summary and I'm not gonna read you through all of this so all you need to know is that page navigators saves you time and effort when you want to build menu buttons in your report. So if you go through the details of the section here, it essentially creates a set of menu buttons for you. And also it does automatically syncs with the pages that you have, even as you edit them. So I wanna show you how that actually works uh, in a report. So here's a sample report that I created, which analyzes YouTube revenue. So this is what we're gonna use for our demo for today. And if you want to get a hold of this Power BI report, it's available through my shop in my website, solutionsupport.co.uk, or you can get it from the coffee shop. I'll leave a link to both of these in the description box below. So in this report, we have two visible pages. If you look at the bottom here, we have the home, which is uh, this page that we are on, and overview, which is pretty much the same, except uh, I just have a different title here, just to show you uh, that we have two uh, different pages in this report. We have a few pages here that are hidden, um, but that's because we're using them for uh, other things like uh, usage data or how to refresh your report. So we don't really need to scroll those and they have a separate button here at the top. So just to show you how it looks like, this is just to show you how to refresh the report and then the usage is essentially how to read and use the report. So let's go back to the home page here and let's say we were given a task to create a set of menu buttons that navigates between the home and the overview page. Now, typically what you would need to do is to create buttons and you would put them on both of the pages. Uh, actually, let's go through it together just to show you how it looks like. So first, what we're going to do, I'm gonna add a button here, a blank button. I'm gonna remove the outline. I'm gonna say this is home. I want the color to be white. Something like this. We're gonna take the action, change that to go to a page navigation, which takes us to the, well, this should be just home here. And we want to create another one for the overview page. Actually, let's just modify this a little bit. And let's add a bit of interactivity in this button. So uh, tip here, if you change the fill, and let's change the color to the same red that we have here. So let me just get the color from that. Fill color. So that's the default state of that button. And when we hover on top of it, we want to show a bit of a darker color of red. So let's drag that a little bit here. So here we go. So as you hover over that button, you'll see that it gets um, filled in. So that's the type of interactivity that I want for my buttons. So let's copy this. Let's create one for home and let's create one for overview. So we're gonna change this one to overview. And this one, we want to go to the overview page. So because this one is home already, we just want to just change that default, but we'll, we will do that together. So let's just copy this. And if you want this to be available on the overview page, you just have to copy and paste it. Obviously we have to just change a couple of things here. So just change that to none and change this to go to home. 
So another thing we might want to have in our buttons is if you are in that page, you want to just have that uh, showing that uh, it's highlighted means that you are in that page. And obviously to do that, you just go back to fill, change the defaults to a darker color to just signify that you are in the home page. Um, and then we want to do the opposite thing to the overview page. So we just change the fill to a darker page. So here we go. So now we have these two buttons and you'll see if I click in this button, it takes us to overview. And if we click this button, it will take us back to home. So see, that's how you normally create buttons in your Power BI reports. So now that you have the set of menu buttons here, that's great. But now from this point onwards, let's say that you were asked to create a new page. So let's say you were asked to create an insights page. So just to make it easier, we're just gonna create one here. We'll just name it insights. We name the title to insights here. So now that we have this new page, a new page means that you need to add a new button for each of your pages that uh, allows you to go to the insights page. So that means you now need to go to every single one of these to say, okay, give me a new, uh, a new button here called insights. So we're gonna go text insights and we need to do this whole process all over again of um, customizing the color when it's highlighted and where it goes to and this repeats for every single page in your report, which as you can see is pretty time consuming. So this is where the page navigator comes in really. Um, so we won't do that uh, to all of these pages. So we'll just delete all of these. Uh, we'll go through each of these pages and delete the set of buttons that we've just created. Um, and we're now gonna add a page navigator instead of the individual buttons. So you'll find the page navigator from the ribbon inserts and under buttons, you'll see the navigator option. And from here, you'll be able to select a page or bookmark navigator. So in this case, we'll pick a page navigator. So immediately, as you can see, it inserts a visual for us, which uh, is a set of buttons uh, that is generated from the page names that you have in your report. So you'll see um, home overview insights, refresh and usage are the pages that we have in our report here. So it syncs up the orders and also what kind of pages we have there. So along with that, you'll notice a couple of things here. So first of all, it has some reactive elements to it. So you'll see instead of uh, just having a simple button when you hover over it or when you click on it, you will get some color changes. So that is pre-created for you without having to customize it on the buttons or any other ones in your menu. The second thing is that when you add the page navigator, it automatically detects which page you're on. So you'll see that now we are in the home page. You'll see that the home page here is selected. Um, however, if we add a page navigator, let's say on the overview page, so we'll do uh, insert button page navigator, you'll see it adds the exact same page navigator, except it highlights the overview. So it basically recognizes which page you're on and it automatically highlights the page for you, which is great. So now let's go back to our homepage here and let's customize this page navigator a little bit to sync it up with our style that we have here in our report. So I'm just gonna organize it a little bit. Uh, under the format pane here, you can do and uh, change a couple of visualization options for this page navigator. So a couple of things to note, uh, you can customize the pages that you want to show here. So uh, for example, we want to not show the refresh and the usage page because this is, uh, we already have buttons for this, so we don't really want it in the menu. So we just simply toggle it. So now you will have just the home overview and insights. Now, the only thing I don't like about the page navigator is that you can't customize which pages you want to show in the navigator. So you only have the ability to hide or show hidden pages or hide or show tooltip pages. That's really it. So um, that's the only feedback that I have when it comes to this feature. So let's go through a couple of the uh, visual options here. So obviously we want to change the color slightly. So we don't want the outline um, we want the fill, obviously for the default state to be 
the red that we have here and when hovered we want the dark red on press we want uh, let's say dark red as well and then when it's selected we want dark red and let's change the text as well because i'm not a fan of that black text font here we go and that's it really so now you've set up your menu pages and you'll see that because each of these buttons it are not individual elements in your report but one single menu when you format the navigator it applies it across all the buttons in your menu which saves you a ton of time uh, if you've done uh, menu buttons uh, in power bi before so now that we're done and we're happy with this you simply just copy the navigator and then simply just paste it in your other pages so we go to the overview and insights and there you go so you already have a working menu within minutes in your Power BI report and they all work already without you having to customize anything uh, besides the visual stuff of course so if you go to let's say if you control click to overview it takes you to the overview page goes to home and you don't have to set this up uh, manually it's all been done for you in the page navigator so a couple of things to point out with the page navigator which is actually really really cool is that it's synced with your report pages so it means that if you rename pages uh, it will rename the page navigator across all of your reports so let's say we change uh, we decide okay we don't want the third uh, report page here to be inside we want to name it as dashboard so we you just rename that down there you'll see in the page navigator it automatically updates those buttons for you and not just for this page but for all of the instances of that page navigator which saves you a lot of time another thing is that obviously uh, you might want to add or delete pages in your report that also get synced as well so let's say we want to delete this dashboard page if we delete it you'll see that the page navigator automatically updates itself. So you don't really have to worry about managing your menu buttons. Uh, is it linking to the right page? Do I have to delete it? Um, and you can see the value of it, not here because we only have three pages, but if you have multiple pages that you're managing, this makes your life a whole lot easier, especially if you're crafting a really cool menu such as this. And that's really it for this video. I hope you learned how easy it is to implement and use the new page navigator feature that came out with Power BI. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.